Dio published a history of Rome in 80 volumes. Beginning with the legendary arrival of Aeneas in Italy, the volumes then documented the subsequent founding of Rome, the formation of the Republic, and the creation of the Empire, up until AD 229. The entire period covered by Dio's work is approximately 1,400 years. Of the 80 books, written over 22 years, many survive into the modern age, intact, or as fragments providing modern scholars with a detailed perspective on Roman history. Biography Dio was the son of Cassius Aprinianus, a Roman senator, and he was born and raised at Nicaea in Bithynia. Byzantine tradition maintains that Dio's mother was the daughter or sister of the Greek orator and philosopher, Dio Chrysostom. However, this relationship has been disputed. Although Dio was a Roman citizen, he wrote in Greek. Dio always maintained a love for his hometown of Nicaea, calling it his home, as opposed to his description of his villa in Italy. For the greater part of his life, Dio was a member of the public service. He was a senator under Commodus and governor of Smyrna following the death of Septimius Severus. He became a suffect consul in approximately the year 205. Dio was also proconsul in Africa and Pannonia. Severus Alexander held Dio in the highest esteem and reappointed him to the position of consul. Even though his caustic nature irritated the Praetorian guards, who demanded his life, Following his second consulship, while in his later years, Dio returned to his native country, where he eventually died. Dio was either the grandfather or great-grandfather of Cassius Dio, the Roman consul in 291. Roman History Dio published her Roman history, in 80 books, after 22 years of research and labor. The books cover Roman history for a period of approximately 1,400 years, beginning with the arrival of the legendary Aeneas in Italy, through to the subsequent Mythostoric founding of Rome. They also cover historical events up to AD 229. The work is one of only three written Roman sources that documents the British revolt of AD 6061 led by Boudicca. Until the 1st century BC, Dio provides only a summary of events. After that period, his accounts become more detailed. From the time of Commodus, Dio is very circumspect in his conveyance of the events that he witnessed. In the 21st century, fragments remain of the first 36 books, including considerable portions of both Book 35 and 36. The books that follow, books 37 through 54, are nearly all complete. They cover the period from 65 BC to 12 BC, or from the eastern campaign of Pompey and the death of Mithridates to the death of Marcus Vipsanius Agrippa. Book 55 contains a considerable gap. While books 56 through 60 are complete and contain events from the defeat of Varus in Germany to the death of Claudius, of the 20 subsequent books in the series, there remain only fragments and the meager abridgment of John Zipholinus, a monk from the 11th century. The abridgment of Zipholinus, as now extant, commences with book 35 and continues to the end of book 80. It is a very indifferent performance and was made by order of the Emperor Michael VII Parapinuses. The last book covers the period from 222 to 229. The fragments of the first 36 books, as they have been collected, consist of four kinds. Fragment of Valigina Fragments that were dispersed throughout various writers, scholiasts, grammarians, and lexicographers, and were collected by Henry Valois. Fragment of Perashana Large extracts, found in the section entitled, A Virtues and Vices, contained in the collection, or portative library, compiled by order of Constantine VII Porphyrogenitus. The manuscript of this belonged to Nicolas Claude Fabri de Peresque. 
the fragments of the first 34 books, preserved in a second section of the same work by Constantine, and titled, Of Embassies. These are known under the name of Fragmenta Ursinian, as the manuscript in which they are contained was found in Sicily by Fulvio Orsini. Excerpt of Vaticana by Angelo Mai contains fragments of books 1 to 35 and 61 to 80. Additionally, fragments of an unknown continuator of Dio, generally identified with the 6th century historian Peter the Patrician, are included. These date from the time of Constantine. Other fragments from Dio that are primarily associated with the first 34 books were found by Mai in two Vatican MSS. These contain a collection that was compiled by Maximus Planudes. The annals of Joannes Zonaris also contain numerous extracts from Dio. Literary style Dio attempted to emulate Thucydides in his writing style. Dio's style, where there appears to be no corruption of the text, is generally clear though full of Latinisms. Dio's writing was underpinned by a set of personal circumstances whereby he was able to observe significant events of the empire in the first person or had direct contact with the key figures who were involved. 